Oh my god, sorry for my three day absence. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is my December 2015 monthly favorites. So I'm so sorry for being absent Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I was so sick. Like, I was literally in bed all of yesterday. I was probably out of bed a total of three hours yesterday. And then Tuesday, I was really trying to fight through because I had, was on a cousin date with my cousin, my girl cousins. And we went out to lunch and pedicures and tattoos and um, dessert. And it, I was miserable the entire day, but I, like, stuck through. But then when I got home, I literally was in bed from, like, 3.30 all night because I was so sick and then the next day I just couldn't even get out of bed I was I was miserable I am all better now thank God in time for New Year's and so now we are doing my monthly favorites it is the last day of December it is the last day of 2015 tomorrow I will be having my favorites for the whole year of 2015 but right now it's just my favorites of what I looked at in December I am so glad to be back okay I was only gone for three days and I felt like I was gone for six years like I was seriously missing you guys I was like on Twitter every day. I was like, I miss you guys. What's everyone doing? Like, I feel so left out. Anyways, I have a list here on my phone. And look at my cute, isn't it cute? <laughs> of what I want to go over today. I really tried to narrow it down this month since usually I do my monthly favorites, but I pick like three favorites from everything and I really just need to pick like one and it's really hard to do that when I have a good month of reviews so again this is a monthly favorites for the things I looked at in the month of December so easiest we will start out with is my e-liquid my favorite e-liquid from this month definitely goes to e-liquid scripts e-liquid it was so good all the flavors were really good even the tobacco flavor like if I was drunk enough, I could see myself vaping that. And I only say if I was drunk enough because I don't like tobacco flavors, but it was so sweet with the cherry and the almond that it was actually not a bad tobacco flavor. I just couldn't vape it sober because I can taste the tobacco. But you know when I'm drinking, I'm all about that. Like if I'm drinking and someone lights up a cigarette, like the cigarettes I used to smoke, Camel 99s, I'm like, that smells good. Like a freshly lit cigarette still smells good to me. Stale cigarettes don't. Anyways, e-liquid scripts, e-liquid definitely takes the cake. And the one that would have to win would either be Alchemist Apple Strudel or Apothecary Peach. Those two were really freaking good. One was an apple strudel vape and the other was a peach banana combo. And I just, I loved, actually I really liked all of the flavors from that line. But those two are like my favorite. And they come in these cool prescription bottles, which some people think are like a waste. But I am totally all about the eye-pleasing packaging and so that definitely got me on that like points for packaging all right and then the other e-liquid that I definitely have to mention in my favorites video is this um mango pound cake by the vape chemist now I reviewed their whole line a long time ago and they were really delicious fruity flavors this is a mango pound cake and if you watch my channel then you guys know that I really really love still am loving bonsai vapors pound it which is an iced lemon pound cake it is so good and this is like the same deliciousness only with a different fruit instead of a lemon it's a mango and it is so freaking good I'm gonna have to get me a bigger bottle of this so those were my two favorites from the month of December now there are some runner-ups like the bouquet e-liquid line was really good um, there was some flavors out of my vape box that I got that were really good but again I'm trying to like narrow it down to a few one or a two you know so anyways on to my favorite device and this is always so hard because literally for the like the last what two months three months I can't remember when I first reviewed the knee box but I've been wanting to use that as my favorite because it is still my favorite but anyways my favorite from the month of December goes to the little bitty baby V Park V Box mod. This is the V Box 30. It's a little 30 watt sub ohm device. Now the only other device I have that is this small is the E-Leaf iStick Mini, but that is not a sub ohm device. It does not handle below one ohm and it only goes up to 10 watts. This has 30 watts of vaping power and a matchy matchy little tank, the Max Tank Mini, I believe that's what it's called. And it's just so freaking adorable and cute and uh, comes in a bunch of different colors. I would have loved to have the Tiffany blue and or the white color. I don't have a red mod, so this is fine. I'm just like, you know, I'm getting picky now. Anyways, I love it. It's so cute and it vapes magnificently. The flavor is good and I will be doing a one month update for this pretty soon because I've had it. I believe I reviewed it the first week of December. I can't really remember it. I don't have my schedule right in front of me, but it's, watch this. Shh. 
it blows freaking clouds for this little tiny guy. It's so little. Like, look, I mean, my hands are probably a lot smaller than some of yours, and it is just so little. It would probably be completely, like, disappeared in somebody's hands that are bigger than mine. It's great, I love it. So there's that device and of course the Inakin Endura T18. Now this is not a sub ohm. I mean the coil in here is not sub ohm and it's a 14 watt device stick battery. It's pink, it comes in a lot of colors and I absolutely love it because it's pink but it also freaking is a great vape and I feel like this is a good beginner setup. It's not sub ohm and as far as like battery shape and size, it's the traditional like an Ego twist battery only it's not adjustable, it adjusts to itself. Now the coil in here I can't remember but I know it's not sub ohm and it has the, um, the iPad flavor prism that the ape or the ipex the apex had from inakin which was one of my favorite tanks for a really long time until the kangaroo box came out and so it has that flavor prism in here and it really enhances the flavor like if they had this when i first started vaping i probably wouldn't have taken me so long to quit mmm Man, the flavor seed. Okay, I was like iffy because this isn't sub ohms and it does not have adjustable airflow. So it's a really tight draw and I like an airier draw. But the flavor on this kind of makes up for that because the flavor is so delicious. Whatever uh, juice I have in here, it's so good. Mmm. Oh, I could sit here and just vape this for the rest of the video. It's freaking delicious. So those were my two favorite devices from this month. Now, I also do a favorite atomizer, but I didn't actually review like a singular atomizer. You know, like I have the Heracles coming up. I have um, the Z pal coral I don't know what that one's actually called but I have like individual atomizers coming up but those but everything I reviewed kind of came with its own atomizer I didn't really review an atomizer separately but for the sake of this video if I had to pick an atomizer like just an atomizer that I absolutely love for the month of December it would definitely go to the target mods atomizer and now I have it on my target mod right now but I have been switching this out on different devices like my MVP my SMY mini I love this and oh my gosh <laughs> almost empty I didn't even realize that before I picked it up I don't know if I should vape it that empty we'll do it anyway still good still good <laughs> when you try to talk and vape is still coming out of your lungs but it is literally such a good flavor it has I mean I love my knee box but honestly these coils I feel like do flavors even better justice I if I could take the coils from this and put them in my knee box I would be set to jet like that would be my all-time favorite because I'm really obsessed with the all-in-one right now because having the extra take on top is just like extra space and it's longer like if the was just down here if my knee box had these coils I would be so happy so that definitely gets my favorite atomizer from the month even though I didn't really review a singular atomizer this month now I do have a favorite accessory because I actually reviewed I didn't review but I showed a different accessory for this month of vaping accessory accessory I don't know how you some people say accessory and some people say accessory and Trisha Paytas says accessories so I watch her too much so you know we definitely have to go to these cute bags by Wick and Wire well it's not a bag but you can either have it on your belt you can loop it um, and it, it's just so cool it has a pocket for juice and then a zip pocket and they have all different types they have ones where your tank can stick out and I only have this one here to show right now because the other ones that I got from the company are in the giveaway but then it comes with like a long string just in case you want to purse it there's little pockets in here and I just think that's really neat that these are designed for your devices and this is so cute can you guys see the little ohms on it I just think that is adorable and there's all different types of pouches and bags for your vapes on wickandwire.com. And I will link below to all of my favorites in the description box that I show in this video. So those are my favorites for the month of December. And now I feel like favorite videos are kind of small because I just go through my favorites like that. So I wanted to kind of revisit some of my older favorites. So I've been saying it through the whole video. The Kanger Tech Knee Box is still one of my favorites. Oh, I absolutely love her. And I don't know, this might be silly, but her name is Janice. Like, I don't know why, but this is Janice. I'm all like, when I can't find I'm like, where's Janice? Janice! It's from that uh, meme that's like, um, the kid in the ride that's getting slingshotted. And I'm pretty sure he's saying Janet, 
but wait, he might be saying Janice, but that's what I think about, because he's like, Janice, Janice, because he's like screaming, he's really scared, and so like, when I look for her, I'm like, oh my god, where is she, because I love my knee box, especially like, if I have like, a too drunk night, and then I wake up, and I'm like, where the fuck? is my vape. I'm like, Janice! Janice, where's Janice? So, this is Janice, everybody. I don't know if anyone else out there does that, but yeah, I named my device, and I have done that in the past, but not brought it up, because I just thought it was kind of like a weird thing to do, but like, back in the day when I was a stoner, I used to name my pieces, too. I don't know if anybody did that, but I had one named Rasta, because it was Rasta colored, and one named Banjo, because I don't know why. I think it reminded me of the video game Banjo-Kazooie, but that's a whole nother lifetime. <laughs> And aside from absolutely still loving my knee box, I am still loving I Gotta Stay True to my MVP because it is the device that got me off smoking the MVP version 2. This is the MVP 3 Pro and the Troll RDA setup. Now I love the this setup so much for flavor testing. It is not the only RDA that I have, but it is the only one that I'm currently using in the new coming year. I promise I'll be using more. I have a snub nose, I have the Black Widow, I have the Evil Monkey or the Evil Monk, and I really do want to try out some other RDAs just so I can have like an opinion on which one I like better because so far everyone's like, oh, what's your favorite RDA? I'm like, it's the troll. It's the only one I know of. So, but I'm absolutely loving this setup for flavor testing. And I'm still getting questions about where I got these custom drip tips made for both of these devices and I got them made from Gatorboard on Instagram and I will put a link below or I will like put an annotation of the Instagram name and I'm sure you can just message him on Instagram and ask. I think he does. I know he has a shop where he sells these, but not a website as far as I know right now. But yeah, these were custom made for me. This guy didn't even know about my vaping channel. He just saw my Instagram that I had broken my glass strip tips a long time ago off my Ego One Minis, and he made them for me. He asked me what my favorite colors were. I just thought it was so nice and so sweet. This guy didn't even know who I was, and he just made them for me. And so yes, you guys have to check this guy out. It's They're just gorgeous, aren't they? I mean, obviously they are. I get so many questions about them all the time still, even though I've mentioned it like a bazillion times in videos and of course for e-liquid I'm still loving I actually don't have a bottle with me right now but I have more bottles coming Rasta Vapors Rusty Nails is one of my favorite butterscotch slash marshmallow vapes I know it's like a weird combo but it is so freaking good I'm actually getting more bottles and they should arrive Saturday fingers crossed because I know that tomorrow it's a national holiday right so there might not be any mail tomorrow I'm not exactly sure <laughs> and then of course Pounded by Bonsai Vapor I am so Still loving this so much. It, I literally vape it 80% of the time that I'm vaping. This is, ugh, I gotta smell it. Oh, it's so good. It is so freaking good. Do yourself a favor and pick this up. And I have a 120 milliliter bottle of this coming my way. I am so stoked. And for some oldies but goodies of favorite accessories that I am still really loving and using are these unicorn bottles. I am, I put, I have um, the Milkman and Bonsai Vapors Pound It in here. And I absolutely love these pink. I like, it doesn't really matter what the color is, but of course pink, like pink, it matches. So I love these and I use them for on the go rather than taking a glass bottle in my purse because that's kind of sketchy because you know if you just fling your purse down in the bathroom floor you know I know that's like the dirtiest place to put your uh, purse but if they don't have like those hang up racks I'm not gonna hold it and pee at the same time it's just that doesn't work and then of course it is cold out so you need to keep your mods nice and warm with the mod socks I have a mod sock here on my MVP 3 this is the MVP 3 original so it's the one that only goes to 30 watts the MVP Pro my Tiffany blue one goes to 60 so I do have that one in here and they make mod socks it's on Etsy Studio 88 Creations. I will leave a link below. They make mod socks for everything. And this one's customized for me. It's got a Hello Kitty on it. Can you see it? I love it. But they, they literally do like everything. So here's like one for my eye stick mini. Like I just, I love these. And they're great for keeping your mods warm in the cold or just for having some cool fun because they are customizable colors and everything. All right, so that's just about everything I have to go over. I did want to show you some things that are coming up in the month of January that I am so excited. So I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek since it's the end of the year and I won't see you guys till next year. <laughs> that's only tomorrow, but it sounds worse, right? Next year, see you next year, but it's actually just tomorrow. La -da -da -da. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this or if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you would have already seen this, but I got the red Cool Fire 4 Plus with a matching iSub Apex tank. It's red, I can see it and this e-liquid. I have all three. I just grabbed one box, but I have seen so much of this on Instagram. The Drippin' Donuts e-liquid and they have the strawberry glazed donut with sprinkles or the fro strawberry frosted with sprinkles, blueberry glazed and bear claw, which is the uh, glazed apple cinnamon pastry. And I'm so excited to try these and look at the boxes. They're so 
appealing to the eye, don't you think? I think so. All right, so that's it for my monthly favorites video, and yes, this is a Tia Vapes beanie, and you guys know I like don't wear hats well, but I just had to get it. It's so cute, and the Tia Vapes, like the P and the A, have little hearts in them, and I love it, and it's it says Tia Vapes, and there's a whole bunch of other merchandise. I actually, finally, I had a shop up on Teespring for a while with Tia Vapes merchandise, so you could get my face or my logo, but I took that down because you had to order so many before they actually shipped it out and that was just not working out because not everybody orders at the same time. So now I'm doing it through Spreadshirt. So you can go to shop.spreadshirt.com slash vapes and you can check out Tia Vapes stuff that I have. I have mugs, hoodies, sweaters, those are the same thing, shirts, um, and beanies and they say Tia Vapes or have my face on them or I have some Clouds Bitch stuff because I know that you guys love it. Oh, did I even say that in this video? Probably not. But Clouds Bitch, you can get a Clouds Bitch beanie or a Clouds Bitch shirt. I have it all there on that website and I will put that that link below if you're interested in checking out any Tia Vapes merch and supporting yours truly but in all honesty I don't set the prices and I make like a dollar to two dollars off anything that's sold so it's not a teespring was better as in me getting commission from anybody buying my merchandise but I still think the way Spreadshirt does their their actual business is way better than because like I said nobody orders at the same time everybody orders at their own different time so I'm definitely going with Spreadshirt I'm not too concerned about making a profit on it right now because you know I'm not like the biggest YouTube channel out there actually I'm probably I'm like actually I was looking at my my rank and I was like the 26,000 rank so there's like 26,000 other YouTube channels that are way bigger than me and you should definitely go buy their merch instead like Trisha Paytas oh my god I bought my first Trisha Paytas merch I'm so excited I got a Trisha Paytas shirt and you guys will see it she had the cutest Mary Trishmas stuff okay I'm getting off topic anyways that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope everyone has a fun and safe and happy new year what are your new year's resolutions let me know down in the comments below so let me know what you're working on for 2016 again everyone have a safe and fun night that's it for today's video you can check the description box below to find anything that I talked about in this video or you can check my favorite section for my favorite mods juices etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos that aren't vaping related so if you need to see more of me you can check out that channel and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys oh it feels so good to be back did you guys miss me I missed you